Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bugs Bunny Lost in Time playthrough with me, Sonic Rider 9. When we last left off, we beat the minecart level and we've collected just about all the collectibles that we can pick up besides like a few golden carrots, but to be honest, I'm not caring about those. We've beaten all the boss levels anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final level in Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Train your brain. After this... We will be done with Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, so count this as the final episode, folks. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Now, what's interesting about this final level is that it's more of a brain sort of teaser level. A level that's trying to, as the, the level name suggests, trains your brain, pretty much. So, obviously, there's a few sections here which are platforming-based, but at, as you can see, look, we've got a bit of a, uh, a puzzle. Alright, repeat every move the Martian makes and win the game. So, yeah, this is literally a colour match game. Follow the colours of the Martian and you win. Alright, so, green. Green, orange. Green, orange. Green, orange, green. Green, orange, green. Okay. Green, orange, green, purple. Green, orange, green, purple. Riveting commentary here, folks. Green, orange, green, Purple, green again. He likes green. Well, it makes sense. He's coloured green. And just look at him. Green, purple, green. As you can see, now he's like, okay, now I need to bring my air game. So green, orange, green, purple, green, red. Okay. Green, orange, green, purple, green. Red. There we go, we did it. Clock is ours. Like I say, all the remaining clocks in this level are all dedicated to the brain teasers. So that was the first trial, shall we call it, for brain teasers' sake. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, let's keep going in this final challenge, in this final level of Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. I know I'm I know I'm like hyping this up and everything, but it's like. You know, I can't believe we're finally going to beat this game and I can f finally move on to, you know, a different game to record for my channel. Alright. Anyway. Not to say that this game is bad or anything, it's just, you know, it would be time to move on. Anyway, press the green button and look closely. Can you redo it? Okay, that one's easy. So what we're going to do on this is we're going to jump on these buttons to match the colours. So for this... It was a giant N, I do believe. Tedious gameplay. Boom. There we go. All right, we've got to do another one. Let's see. Two reds, two, uh, four, okay. Four reds, four green. I think. No. Was it this? Oh jeez, I've messed it up, haven't I? It was the opposite, wasn't it? Ah, it was the opposite. <laughs> Why do I make things so weird? This should be easy. There we go. Phew. Alright, let's not mess this final one up. Okay. Okay, I got it. Let's do this red one first. I believe this was the red. And then... Yeah, you can see I'm getting my brain to work. <laughs> was that it? Yeah, we did it. And thus, 
clock number two is ours. Great. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into this teleporter here and continue moving on. So I think it's like two trials per uh, room, and each trial gives you a clock. All right, hair dance. Let's see what we've got going on here. We've got more le electricity, which is fun. All right. Oh, yeah, hear this. I remember this from Vortex Room. <clears throat> this is fun gameplay here, folks. Real fun gameplay. <clears throat> Alright, so here we are at the hair dance part of this. Basically, we have this sort of dance floor-like thing where we need to be careful not to stand on the red tiles. If we do, we get burnt. So, yeah. D don't stand on the, the red tiles. That's my biggest top tip. Anyway. Let's activate this. I think this, out of all the entire, out of this entire level, this is probably the the only section in this level that's platform based. The rest of it is um, puzzle based. Which I guess is an interesting concept. I mean, you didn't really see that in these kind of platformers, really. And it, an, an entire level dedicated to like brain teasers. Okay. Now we have to go all the way back. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Um. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying um, my new schedule where I... Ow. I will be basically recording a brand new video every Thursday and Friday uh, for the time being until... Well, pretty much I get some more free time on my hands, pretty much. So, yeah. Every Thursday and Friday from now on will be days where you can expect at least one video on each of those days. Or if if worst comes to worst, um, at least a video on either Thursday or Friday. So that's like the worst case scenario. Best case scenario, I upload a video on um, Thursday and Friday. But at the worst case scenario is if I record a video, one video and only do uh, upload a video um, on either Thursday or Friday. Anyway, let's keep moving on. Let's keep going. And I know it says Space Speedway, but it's still um, train your brain. The Space Speedway bit is for the finale of this level. Uh, but we've still got more platforming to do. Sort of. Um, and I'm going to go in a circle. And I got electrocuted. Great. <clears throat> And I'm still suffering from a slight sore throat, so I do apologise if I cough. Anyway, um, let's go right, because there's a carrot. A golden carrot. I want the golden carrots. Huzzah. Also, I'm grateful that in this, for this level for not having the dec not having the, uh, the Acme boxes. I'm very grateful. Ow. Ow. Alright. I hate trying to platform over these because you don't know where the hitbox is. This is a... There we are. This was a puzzle that used to mess my young mind's brain up. Seriously, when I was younger. Find the secret colour combination to beat the master. Set all the colours and press the button to validate. Highlight spots mean good spots. Remember Bunny, the same colour never appeared twice in the same row. So yeah. When I used to play this when I was a child, I had no freaking idea on how to beat this part. I was just choosing random colours. But what you're going to do is, for my tactic, is just choose... Go in order of colour. So, and just do that for each segment. If you got none, then go to the next colour. So it goes blue, then light blue. 
uh, yellow, and then... This is my tactic for this level, for anyone who wants to play this. There we go. Aha! So now we, we, we basically, once we get those highlights, we then keep um, those colours on the uh, respected areas. So, this one's after yellow, which is purple, and this one's after purple, so red. Okay, so we need to be careful here, because um, if we mess up too many times, that laser beam will kill us. So, yeah, we need to be very careful here. So, it must be green. And... Wait, no, it can't be orange, can it? Okay, so it can't be orange. I haven't done red on this, so... Ooh! Okay, right. Pink. Red. I've done per pink. Yellow. Purple. Can't be orange, can't be red, can't be that. Oh god, it's either blue or light blue. Shoot. Uh, I'm gonna go dark blue. We did it! Yay! It took us all of the rows. Jesus, if we got that wrong, that giant eye thing would have killed us, basically. But man, oh man, that was... That's, that's probably one of the hardest puzzles in this entire sec... In this, um... In this level, I mean, it's not difficult to do, but it's hard to figure out the combination of colours, because it could be anything. It could have been absolutely anything, and if I messed up right there, I would have been screwed. Anyway, this is the final segment of the game, and the reason this gets its Hyper Speedway um, name. Basically, we have a hover bike race. If we hold circle, we pull our hand out, and we're racing against this other Martian. The vehicle itself speeds for, um, accelerates for you, and Martian, get the heck out of my way. And what we're going to do is we've got to hold our hand out, and spin up this whole you son of a gun. And then let go, once we reach the top of the, the pole. And we've got to beat this guy, because we can't have him beating us, that's, that's just wrong. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. We need to beat him, because otherwise we won't get the clock at the end. Wow, he is catching up quick. Holy crap. I don't remember this when I used to play this when I was a baby. I know I didn't play this as a baby, but, you know, you get the point. I was a young kid. Has anyone actually played um, Looney Tunes Space Race? Because if you have, this is actually the vehicle that the King of the Martians actually uses, which is actually pretty cool. And we win! And this is what happens if you lose. Boom! If I were to lose, I would have gotten electrocuted. So, yeah, that's why I had to win. To get the golden carrot and to get this final clock! Great. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have collected all the clocks and we've actually missed a golden carrot, huh? Well, I can't be bothered to actually redo all this level again. Try again. That's to try again from the beginning of this race, if you want, really want to do that. But I'm exiting the level. I'm out of here. We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. We've completed all the levels, pretty much. We're back. Good, but you left some stuff behind you. Let me save your position. Thank you. Save the position. Woo. Save that game. Bye. Yeah. Goodbye, Moyle. Right. There we go. Look at that. Congratulations, Bugs. You found enough clocks to open the present day. This is your reward for finding 120 clocks. I have 124, I believe. But here we go. This. What's interesting about this is this isn't actually a world or anything. 
this is the ending of the game. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll catch you all later after the uh, the ending cutscene. Oh, okay, never mind. I'll have to just go there. Ugh. I thought I could make it cool, you know, I, I could just cut away and such. I mean, I could do that, but whatever. But yeah, we've done everything. Here we go. Present day. And that is it, everyone. That's the end of Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. We have done it. We have completed the game. Finally, I can relax. Now, that, according to the cheat book, is the incomplete game ending. You're probably wondering, oh, gee, if that's the incomplete game ending, what's the game ending for getting 100%? Well, it's... Nothing really special, really. The only difference is that the credits for the completed ending is on the beach. I'm assuming Pismo Beach, you know, the place where Bugs Bunny always says he always wants to go to during all his cartoons. But yeah, that's really all that's different. It's just a credits background swap. It's really not that interesting, really. You get the same ending cutscene anyway, so... Why should I bother showing you guys the 100%? You guys can probably search up on YouTube. But uh, anyway, guys, that is it, really, for Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. <laughs> it's It's been a long time coming trying to, you know, get through all this game and whatnot. Trying to do a bit of backtracking in my own time. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a fun game. Definitely a fun um, platform if you haven't played it. And if you're a, especially if you're a Looney Tunes fan... And a fan of platformers. This is probably a really good um, platformer to pick up for your PlayStation 1. I mean, it's I've got it running on my PlayStation 3 and it's awesome. But yeah, guys. That's about it, really. I haven't really got much else to say. Except thank you guys so, so much for watching the Bugs Bunny Lost in Time playthrough. If you've managed to watch all the episodes... No special thanks to the chicken place up the street for not delivering free of charge. What the hell? Okay, that's an odd special thanks mention, but alright. But yeah, um, I, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this entire playthrough. Uh, and uh, if you guys watched this playthrough from start to finish, congratulations, you are a trooper. Oh man. I didn't mean for this to play through to go this long and for me to take months and months just to complete one game, but seriously, I think it was worth it to get through this. I mean, now I can move on to bigger games, I guess. Again, I'm always looking for suggestions on what you guys would like to see me play. If you got any suggestions for what I should play next, please do. Write a comment down below and let me know what I should play. I mean, I'm always up for um, suggestions on what I should play. I've got most of the consoles under the sun. I mean, I have a Nintendo Switch. You guys have probably already seen. I've done videos on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And, uh, you know... You know, I'm, I'm, I'm always open to trying out new games and such, if you guys got any ideas. But yeah, that's about it, really. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. If you did, please do comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Thank you, and goodbye.